Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. Today we're going free diving in Southern California. We're going to take a look at some unique species, but mainly we're going to be going for California rock scallops to make scallop sushi. Before we do, we're going to head on over to Sacramento, California, check out the free dive shop so I can pick up a brand new spear gun. Side left. alive. I've known the owners of the free dive shop for many, many years. As a matter of fact, my brother has actually traveled the world free dive spear fishing with them in unique locations including Baja, Indonesia, and even South Africa. As a matter of fact, here's some South Africa footage. And yeah, the whole time they were surrounded by hammerheads and black tip reef sharks. This is their shop. It is the one-stop shop. If you're looking for free dive specific gear, they've got everything you need. They got suits, spear guns, dive knives, fins, float lines, anything and everything you could want. All right. So I just saw my friends Greg and Vanessa at the free dive shop. Just got a brand new spear gun. Pretty stoked. We just stopped by real quick to grab some mandarins in this alley. These are my favorite. Mm, perfect. Check this out. Buy two, get one free, bong me sandwiches. 385 a piece. They used to be 225. Barbecue pork, you got your chilies, your pickled radish, and your pickled carrots. A little bit of cilantro in there. Bomb. I love this place. <laughs> Enough talking, let's get diving.
Just found some scallops right behind that little swell shark. So I'm gonna look for those guys, see if I can bring those home. I'd like to give a shout out to Princeton Tech for their Torrent LED. This has been my go-to dive light for probably 10 years. I won this one at a free dive spearfishing tournament years ago. The link is in the description. I totally swear by it. taste test just a little bit of scallop you're eating the adductor muscle a little bit of soy sauce mm. that is so good this guy I'm particularly proud of look at the size of that scallop my god look at that that is a beaut picked up a little shell for Diane's niece, Everly. Got another scallop here. Another scallop here. Got another scallop here. Got, this is the giant keyhole limpet, Megathera crinulata. Another scallop here, giant keyhole limpet. You can really see the shell right here and you can see why they call them the keyhole limpet. Very pretty. These are the biggest limpets in California. They might be one of the biggest on the, uh, the in the Pacific, but I'm not sure. But very, very large. Definitely the biggest in California. And they're quite tasty. As the sun set over the water, we headed back to the city to prepare our sushi. So when you get your scallop, basically you're gonna look along the edges. And a lot of these edges, you're really gonna find that they're very, very closely sealed and you gotta look for an opening. Eventually you'll find it, and this is typically down by the clasp, but you'll find that opening, that's where you need to put the knife in. The other thing you can do is you can actually tickle the scallop, and uh, we'll show you a video of that, but basically you put a blade of grass in there and it kinda agitates the scallop and it'll open, and then you can get your blade in there. We'll show you that in the outtakes. Now it's open. Mm -hmm. So, you wanna make sure. Hey, there's a, there's a, a little crab in there. Just, so now we're gonna open it. And then what you see is, we've got a scallop here and a scallop here. This is all part of the same adductor muscle. Now there are certain cultures that will eat a lot of these parts, and I'm totally open to that. I think that's a great idea, except for in California, the shellfish poisoning, amnesic shellfish poisoning, those toxins concentrate in the gut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the dark parts. We're just gonna keep what we really think of as a scallop, just that little bit of a doctor right there, the white meat. And uh, if you don't believe that that can actually be dangerous, uh, some of our buddies grew up with chickens and they went and got a bunch of scallops one time and then they fed those guts to the chickens and they woke up the next morning and their whole family was fine and all the chickens were dead. So definitely keep that in mind. 
that those toxins are not to be messed with. Now basically we're gonna come through here and we're just gonna cut very closely to the shell and this allows us to remove that scallop. There we go. So that is your scallop. So we, we need to eat, but um, we got a bunch going on here. We got the uh, scallop pokey here. We got some scallop nigiri here. We got some uh, hand rolls with fried fish and the fried uh, keyhole limpet. Everything's looking delicious. I know, I'm just, I need to eat right now. Been in the water too long. Delicious. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Good, good. Actually, the keyhole thing, whatever it's called, comes through the most. Really? In this. Yeah. It's actually really, really good. Nice. We're fans of the keyhole input. Is it a panda? It's a rice panda. <laughs> That's so cool. You could like stick a... Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Come on, do it again. Hmm. It worked once. Oh, there he goes. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you have learned, you've got a gift. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so awesome. It's terrible you guys are not going to want these two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs>